Happy Love Month. Happy Black History Month. Welcome to the Bird Brain Podcast, where the goal is to rise above it all, stay elevated, create that infinity up your you. I'm your host, Isaiah, and today we are talking about love languages. Um, I touched on it a little bit last week, just talking about like how I've been practicing my love language with myself. Acts of service, quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation, and gift giving. Those are your five. Before we go any further, the first thing I want to say is love is not shame. Love is not guilt. Love is not ego. Love is not fearful. Love is love. Love is actually rebellious. And if you look at what love is, and you look at how it responds, love is only meant to connect, and it does its job very well. And the reason why I say love is fearless, and uh, love is a rebel, is think about the times you've been hurt in life by someone that you love. Even if you are hurt by them, you still love them, right? The one thing I wanna say about love, and it's a, it's a misconception, is that you should never feel guilty about caring. You should never feel guilty about having a heart that's capable of showing up and showing love. Um, because ego is fearful. Ego is stingy. Ego, um, ego is selfish. Ego is afraid of rejection. Ego is afraid of failure. That's ego. I think it's important for any level of love and whatever your love language is, is to separate what love does and what love is responsible for. Love is only responsible to connect. <laughs> you know, that's the only job it has and it does it very well. And I say that because think of the people that you have in your life now. And think of the people that you've had in your life. At one point in time, you didn't know them, right? But you guys connected in some way, shape, or form. You guys connected at some point in time. Um, and that's what love is. Love is a connector, you know? And when you talk about love languages, that in itself is a conversation um, that can that can really bridge a gap if you're listening properly. So it's important to be aware of your love language, yeah, but also making sure you practice that for yourself. You know, I talk about acts of service being mine. That's a big one for me. And I think it's because I grew up around my mom, my aunt, my sister, all doers. You know, these people are all doers and they put themselves into the things that they do to show, hey, you matter to me. I'm giving you a part of me. That's how I'm going to show up. So I've <laughs> taken that on too. And that's what I'm receptive to as well. Um, and since I know that I'm receptive to that, it finally dawned on me, how am I doing that for myself? Because a lot of times we want other people to fulfill that love language for us, but it's like, am I doing this for myself? So I know what my love language feels like, even if I'm not receiving it from an external source. Am I giving myself words of affirmation? Am I spending quality time with myself? Am I doing things for myself? Am I, you know, getting gifts for myself? Am I, uh, you know, being in touch with my body? You know, physical touch, just being more in tune with how you feel. You know, that that in itself is a love language. When when you have disagreements with people, I think it's important to, to listen and understand what exactly is being said versus what's being heard. Beneath any disagreement, you'll find that both people just want to be understood, valued, loved, and appreciated. That's what we that's what we exist on. So if you can get past the an issue, spilled milk. I was talking to my buddy about, you know, spilled milk being on the floor. You know, you look at that spilled milk and that in itself creates chaos or or uh, confrontation. But look past the spilled milk. Look at what's really going on. Spilled milk just got there, but those feelings have been there for a while. So what language is being spoken? What language is not being spoken? Like I said, love is not weak. Ego is. Love is rebellious. Love just is. Listening to yourself and others is a love language. But also, boundaries is a love language. Sacrificing yourself to the point that you have nothing left. You know, because that's where resentment comes from. Um, love is being able to value someone despite where they are and where you are. Love is also taking care of yourself and recognizing this is not loving for me, so I'm gonna step back and love a person from a distance. That's also okay. It's all important to understand, dissect, and unpack because once you understand, okay, what's my love language? And also, am I willing to love somebody in the way that they need to be loved? You know, are you willing to do that? Because sometimes we get in this, this space of where 
we feel like someone's not loving us because it's not our love language or we're not willing to love someone the way they need to be loved and we feel like hey I'm doing all these things for you you don't appreciate me are you willing to put your love language aside to love somebody in the language that they speak and understand because that in itself is also love you you don't have to be in scarcity in order to love other people properly take care of yourself take care of each other (laughs) because when you take care of yourself you're able to take care of others properly too so yeah look into love languages and and spend this week thinking about what is my love language and how do i show it for myself what about the people around me am i speaking their language am i listening to what they're saying in terms of what their love language is and remind yourself on any given day i should not feel ashamed for love I should not feel guilty. I should not feel um, pained. Love is not here to cause you pain. Love is just here to connect. Okay? Accept that you do care sometimes when you are hurt. Accept that you do care about the people that have hurt you. Embrace that. Hey, I love this person. I care about this person. That's okay. That is okay. But as long as you love yourself too. All right? So if you guys want to listen to more, Check out the audio episode because I really go into detail about a lot of things and um, just really go through the process and break it down. But I love, I love love. (laughs) I think it's cool. And I think when you really understand it and when you really appreciate it, you can understand yourself and you can value yourself because love is powerful, right? I think it's a superpower. It's a superpower that, that truly is infinite, but you just got to allow it to be. Don't be afraid to love because vulnerability equals strength. Being stingy with your love, that's, that's weakness. That's weakness. And more than anything, uh, just work on loving yourself more, whatever that looks like. But have the conversation with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be compassionate towards yourself. And... Um, Take your time, take your time. And whatever you're journeying through in this moment, let's go through the journey. Take your time, but show yourself some love along the way. All right? Hope you guys have an amazing week. Valentine's Day is coming up. Do what you must. (laughs) Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, drink water, and take flight. I love you guys.